I'm really pleased to be able to record this short video. For those of you I haven't met yet, my name's Reverend Laura. Um, it's very strange not coming into school. Um, I miss you all and I'm looking forward to being able to do that kind of thing soon. I've been asked to record this short video about what it's like being a vicar. Maybe a little bit about the church. I thought I'd start recording from home, from my office. Like lots of people, I'm spending more time at home at the moment, doing as much as I can from home. Lots of our meetings are online. I spend lots of time at my computer doing paperwork and talking to people on the phone. But we're also doing lots of our services online at the moment so that people can stay at home. And with some clever computer programs, we can sing together, listen to the Bible and pray together. And we pray regularly for, for all of you and for our town and the wider world. I suppose to sum up my job as a vicar, there's two main things. The first one, and most importantly for me, is God. My job is to help people think about God and, and, and what it is to believe in him, to get to know him. To encourage people, to help people think about belief and faith. But the second thing is people. I bump into people of all ages, at all stages in their lives. Sometimes in the happiest moments, sometimes in the saddest moments, and often on the really ordinary days. And as a vicar, uh, I try and encourage people to pray for them and sometimes with them to help people think about their lives and the things that matter most to them, the things that they're most thankful for. Of course, I spend some of my time in church. We've got seven churches that we look after, but I'm here today in St Augustine's on the top of the hill. It's often called Dodder Hill. Let me give you a quick look round. This church is over 800 years old. And people gather in churches like this for lots of reasons. We gather for normal services. We're doing most of them online at the moment. But we gather to sing and to pray and to think about God. But there's times that we gather for other occasions. Sometimes for weddings or christenings. We've not done quite as many of those recently, but we'll be doing lots more soon. And sometimes for funerals for those sadder occasions where we come together to remember people that we love and who have sadly died. Churches are often built really big. Let me give you a, you see how high up this church goes. You can probably hear my dog in the background. Churches are often built big, not just so you can fit lots of people in, but to help us remember how big God is. And that whatever's going on in our lives, whether it's the happy things or the harder things, that God is with us. And so as a vicar, I help people think about God, often spend quite a lot of time just listening, finding out what's going on in people's lives and praying with them and helping them maybe think about their next steps. With lots of my work being at my desk at the moment, one of my favourite parts of every day is getting out for my daily exercise, usually with my dog, Milo, heading on one of our daily walks. We go whatever the weather. He certainly isn't put off by a little bit of rain. One of the things I like most about my job is that each day is slightly different. In normal times, in a day, I might find myself in a school or at a church or in someone's house or in my office, chatting with people, planning different projects and ideas for how we can bless the town. Every vicar's job is slightly different as well. Some work in a particular place, often called a, a chaplain. They might work in a hospital or somewhere similar. But lots of vicars like me work in a town or a city or a village. 
And so your job is slightly different depending on the place you're in and the people that you live around. I really like my job most days and hope that this short video has helped you understand just a little bit about what I do. I look forward to seeing you all really soon. Take care.